basically, the, um, there were two or three curators. The main curator uh, was Day ba and Day Bauman and um, Philippa Biel. And Philippa, I've worked with her um, at least three or four times before. And um, she asked me um, back in, oh, I think it was February 2023 or March, and she said, you know, do you want to be part of this exhibition? I think your artworks, because she remembered some one of the artworks, not one of the ones that are featuring in the exhibition, but of the series. Um, and she said, look, th that series really fits to the theme and uh, of, of what it's all about. And I said, yeah, of course, you know, I'll be well, uh, honoured to be able to exhibit again in London. Um, and so it was, it was like working with her again. Um, and um, and I've got to say, I, I think, you know, from all the times that I've done stuff with her, I think this exhibition has been extremely, extremely professional. Um, when I arrived, the first thing I saw were the catalogs were absolutely beautiful. Um, and um, and just the general feel, you know, like everyone coming in, um, the opening was at six o'clock and last, and, but it was estimated six to nine o'clock. And um, literally there were people coming in at 8.30 still um, to, to view the works. Um, so in that respect, I think that was really successful. Um, a lot of people commenting on the work. Um, I mean, I, I caught a few people, you know, taking photographs and, and, and and, uh, and videoing, and they asked, you know, who, who's this artist? And, and and because there was one individual in specific that basically recognized from the, the circle painting, the one done on the, the roadside. Um, that painting is based on Linewall Bridge. Uh, and, um, and that individual, I mean, he must have been 60 odd, and he recognized that bridge from Gibraltar, um, and in the background, obviously, with the, with the um, townscape, you could say, you know, the Moorish Castle and that. And um, he recognized the view, and he said, you know, he, when he spoke to me, he said, I remember when I was like, must have been 19 or 18 when I went with my family and I recognized that area. Um, so it was really good, like sort of for, for them reminiscing those moments. And for me, like someone else had recognized the work that was not from Gibraltar. Um, so it was a good opportunity to promote Gibraltar in that way visually as well. No? Um, and obviously the stories behind both pieces, you know, that one was a piece found in, in Alcadesa Beach and it was a view of Gibraltar from Alcadesa. Uh, and the other one was literally when I went out for a jog and, and I saw the, that, that metal plate, you know, metal cir red circular um, road sign lying on the road and, and I had to pick it up and sort of run home with it, you know. And so it's, it's a little bit like sort of a poetic story between both, behind both of them. And it's got to be quite heartening and exciting and encouraging and inspirational to have local talent like yourself exhibiting in London. It doesn't happen to everyone, does it? Uh, thank you very much, Michael. Um, no, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm extremely, extremely proud, um, not only obviously for having chatting and talking to these um, art lovers, collectors and, and, and fellow artists. Um, some of them I had connected with um, online without knowing that they were going to exhibit here. Um, either they followed me or I followed them on social media. So it was really good to meet them in person. Well, 2023 is winding down. What's in the future for 2024 for yourself? What are you working on? Well, um, I'm doing a new series, which at the moment um, is going to be exhibited in uh, October 2024. Uh, my solo. Um, my last solo was in 2019. Um, was extremely successful. I mean, I literally have, I think, four works out of 39 that were exhibited that year um, in the Hema. And this time it will be in the Fine Arts Gallery. Um, with that new series, there's at the moment, um, I think six artworks. I'm aiming to produce at least another 11. There's roughly 12 months, 11 months left for it. So it's one a month. Um, that's that what I'm, I'm sort of aiming for. But at the same time, apart from my solo in October, there are another two big projects, which obviously I keep up under wraps at the moment, but um, in the early part of 2024 so um so yeah there's exciting exciting times and i think it's a case of just keeping busy and and, and keep the keep riding the wave you know when one thing happens you know on to the next one or the next one and and especially like exhibiting abroad um or exhibiting in in other galleries etc is meeting people talking to people and and that's the only way you're going to get invited and going to be seen as well, you know. Um, and and I, I mean, I'm looking looking forward to, to these two projects, especially prior to the solo in October.